working since two, three, five years or since when you start to, to work with him. So it's not a problem totally. If it is under your name, then you just go to the, uh, uh, the license facility asking them to give you a certificate about uh, 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 like this clinic is working uh, under our certification and our under uh, our approval since uh, 2017, for example, and you can apply this paper and it's accepted with no problem. Okay, they, 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 they know like some dentists could have could be working in their own clinics and they accept uh, this certificate with no problem. Okay. Oh. Uh, thank you. Uh, any questions, dear Dr. Said? You know, you can ask in the chat box. We can ask you that one, like in the Zoom chat box is there. I will also check the YouTube one later. Uh, don't worry. And uh, secondly, you know, today's program is sponsored by, uh, so I mean, from Shares Medical Academy and Dr. Hurst and Dr. Sami from the ATC Partner Academy. So we are like, you know, uh, doing a like seminar for all of you so that actually all of you, you know, get the idea, I mean, maximum because about the Australia, most cases we, we felt that, you know, people don't know about the system. That's why the confusion often arises. The next uh, important thing, Doctor, you know, the uh, the thing everyone is waiting for, I guess, about the preparation. Actually, like, I mean, uh, firstly, I would ask you, what subjects, like, say, uh, if I just compare with us, like, you know, example, for us, I mean, those are from the MBBS and for doing the AMC, the mainly the final year subjects, you know, we need to go for, like, the medicine, surgery, kiney, but. For us, like, you know, the typical anatomy, physiology, those things, we don't have to read that much, I mean, for the AMC. So how different is this thing um, in the ADC? I mean, in overall subject, a little idea if you can, you know. Okay. Uh, okay. See, for the subjects, uh, for the written exam, mainly we will talk about it. They, they ask about all the subjects we studied in the college. Uh, of course, you, you are dentists, uh, so you know about operative surgery, endodontics, uh, periodontics, uh, community, uh, family medicine, uh, anatomy, anesthesia, infection control, everything, everything you studied in the college and even pathology, okay, oral pathology, of course. But they are not going on these subjects. Like, for example, they will not ask on the deepest, deepest point in the books. No, they, they mainly ask about superficial information. Like, for example, they will ask you common site of squamous cell carcinoma, but they will not ask you, like, uh, the rate of uh, uh, or the percentage for the squamous cell carcinoma to occur on the dorsal of the tongue or the ventral surface of the tongue? No. They will ask about the common site and uh, uh, how to treat it. But they will not go so deep with each topic. Okay? So uh, they ask about all the subjects since maybe the second year because the first year is just a maybe a preparatory year. I know it's different from one country to another, but for my study, we have the first year preparing with chemistry, physics, and uh, uh, botany and so on subjects. But starting from the second year, we started the dental materials and the pathology and so on. So they ask you also about dental materials. They ask you about the prosthodontics, about uh, restoratives and so on. About the preparation, uh, actually to to start to talk about the preparation, we have to understand um, a very important point. First, the ADC is mainly divided into two parts. The written exam, like I said, and the practical exam. The written exam, it's an MCQ exam, which is held over two days. Uh, for day one, it's like the paper one and paper two exams and they too will have paper three and paper four each paper have separate subjects for example paper one has the dental materials and the restoratives paper two have the prosthodontics and implant paper three pathology uh, uh, oral medicine uh, surgery anesthesia infection control and so on paper four is uh, periodontics uh, pedodontics orthodontics uh, what else, uh, oral radiology, and so on. 
Each paper is composed of 80 questions. These questions could be like an MCQ or an SBQ. MCQ, you know, of course, it's multiple choice questions. The SBQ is scenario-based question where you will find a scenario for a case and you have five questions to answer about the scenario. Okay, and also it's uh, uh, multiple choices questions. Uh, so what books we should follow for each paper? See, the list of the books you will find in the written exam handbook, which is present on the ADC uh, uh, website, the Australian Dental Council website, they release this handbook uh, for the written exam. You will find all the books that you should follow. For example, in medicine and um, oral medicine and oral pathology, you should follow Cowson, essential for oral, oral medicine and oral pathology. For uh, uh, surgery, oral surgery, you should follow Anderson. Uh, for infection control, you should follow the infection control guidelines by the Australian Dental Association. Uh, and uh, there is one major book for the whole journey, which is called the Therapeutic Guidelines. Uh, yeah, the heard the name. Guidelines. <laughs> yes. yes. We also have some therapeutic guidelines. I mean, in, in, in AMC side, we also have, but even though John Murtag is main, but there are separate therapeutic guidelines, actually, because dosing is very important, you know, in some of yes. these prospects. Yes, yes. So um, in some, some of these books we have to read all, but other books, you know, you have just to pick some important chapters, depend on uh, the book. Like, for example, some books we have to just read three chapters, other books we have to read 10 chapters. So it will depend on different books. And we, uh, we know it's, uh, 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 or we pick the chapters according to the plan of study. And sometimes we can skip some chapters because we will read it from a different source or a different book. Okay, um, so how about the preparation? Uh, see, I, I will tell you, um, for example, through my journey, I find like uh, uh, you can prepare for, your, for the ADC within six months. If you um, have the, the measure or the basics of the industry in your brain, in your mind, then you can just about uh, study for six months. These six months, you have at least to study four to six hours per day. This is very important. And of course, our study will depend mainly on books, which we will, uh, uh, which is of course given in the, in the list in the written handbook exam. And of course, we have to start answering MCQs from the first day. Even we don't know the answer, but we have to understand how the ADC like or how the questions come the exam this is very important from day one if you will do that uh, i believe you can pass easily in the written exam but i know some of my friends during the preparation they just kept on reading books 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 till the exam and they didn't pass but other who just read the questions they passed so i'm not telling you that you just have to do or to solve MCQ from day one and not to read books, no. But you have to do both parallelly. This is very important. So if you are studying six hours per day, so make four hours for books, okay? Whatever the book you will study according to the plan. And one to two hours will be just to uh, do skimming for the MCQs, read the MCQ, understand the answer. And if you don't know why the answer is like that, try to search for this answer. That will help you much to have like a, a huge amount of information which will be related to the exam and will help you to pass the exam. So uh, the most important question, do we need course for part one or we don't need course for part one? Uh, this question actually, it, it, it will depend, the answer will depend mainly on you. Some yeah, guys, true. Yes, some guys, you know, they are studying since they, first, they graduated and they are studying every day till today. They did postgraduate, they uh, study, they are just like to read books and so on. These guys, I, I tell them, you don't need a course, really, because you know everything. The course will not add anything for you. But some other guys who, like, since they graduated, they didn't 
hold a book in, in their hands. You didn't even try to download a PDF of any uh, uh, article or anything. So these guys know, I think they will need a course. Uh, for me, I didn't take course before part one. Okay, I depends on myself, but uh, I am an endodontist, so I'm, I'm reading through all of my life. Uh, <laughs> I, I read books, and uh, so yeah, I, I found it as I don't need to take course, and I passed from the first time. Um, but still, I will tell you one thing. Some guys who are uh, professors in the college, they called me to, to join our course. So I told them, okay, doctor, but you are a professor in the college. You have a PhD. How can I help you? <laughs> I will not add anything for you. But they believe like they don't have enough time to focus on the most important points. And they, they told me because you know how to study and which points we have to focus on. That's why I told you to answer such complex question with yes or no, it's not simple. You need to evaluate yourself. You are the one who should decide you need the course or not. No one can tell you you need the course. You yes, like that's true. And thing is, you know, like the when also you are in a course, I think the, the process is more faster. You know, you have a plan and destination sometimes. Yeah, like, you know, even say in our school and colleges, without that, you know, we could have also get good grades and things. But the process makes things more faster, you know, because, you know, the courses came with more specific things. So that's how it's more quicker, actually. Uh, and um, definitely, certainly you guys can help with the course we know. And um, uh, it's a very popular course as far as I know. And we're going for a uh, next question uh, asked by one of the doctor. Like, do we need to uh, make notes and study. I think he answered already. I think the doctor, you know, I think I, I can even tell, you know, definitely you should, you know, like, you know, should have your own notes and thing. And uh, can you please elaborate the, you know, methods? I think those the, those are the thing doctor was also telling. And a few of the things, you know, that, that goes with your own method, actually. The, I can also tell you, because I've been a tutor for a long time, that anything like, you know, if you're comfortable with hard copy, you take print out, first of all, the books, the material, everything, you take a printout, you start studying. As doctor was mentioning about the MCQ thing, MCQ is very, very important. Uh, along with the book, I think you should, I think you should prepare. Uh, we often use something which is called sticky note. I mean, the small clips we separate it and keep in the side of the book. That also helps. A um, few things, you know, because these days are, everyone is comfortable with laptop, iPad, iPad Pro, a lot of things are there. So, People can also make notes in that way. Uh, that's a good way to remember, I think, a lot of things. I mean, the memorize, because it's not about just reading new, new, new. I personally found a lot of the, they just read new, 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 new thing. They're just not like, you know, remembering, like what is the core thing. So you, at the same time, need to memorize the thing and understand the thing. At the same time, MCQ preparation and also get with the new question, new recalls. I think recalls um. are... Yeah, I think more you can tell, I think, you know, I'm just uh, telling the superficial thing, yes. Uh, no, doctor, actually, you, you, all you said well, is, is absolutely correct. See, um, it will depend on you guys. For example, some said, no, doctor, I cannot study from uh, mobile. I cannot study from the iPad. I cannot, I have to hold the book with my hands. So it will depend on you and the method you study. Some guys can just read, the page and they understand it fully and they don't need to take any notes. Some guys know they need to read the question over and uh, the story, the page over and over to understand. And the problem also, some books, you know, are easily uh, uh, to be remembered, but uh, which, which mainly will be uh, uh, talking about practical information, especially if you, are, if you are practicing dentistry in a clinic. Once you read any uh, uh, page which is related to some practical practicing, it will be easy for you to remember. But some other subjects, like for example, the oral pathology or the oral medicine, or even the pharmacology, it's difficult to remember. And it will be just like alcohol. Once you read, it will evaporate easily. And really, the therapeutic guideline book is like that. Once you read, it will evaporate. You know, once you finish the page, you will forget it immediately. So you need to read this therapeutic guidelines for maybe four times before the exam. 
Okay, so the method we study depends mainly on you, on which is more comfortable for you, how you will feel you can get the, 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 the knowledge from the page in the best way, by taking notes, by just reading, by, mem by memorizing certain points, and so on. Yeah, so one doctor, you know, I'm just copying that question and putting here basically. Uh, so one of the doctor, uh, MCQ has become available online. Uh, uh, so I think I think few are available. I think not everything. I mean, thousand MCQ. There was a book I have seen. So few of the thing people can start studying. But I, I you know, you can tell more. I think uh, so. More question need to solve. I think as more as uh, is there any uh, valid MCQ bank like you know for our side we have some separate uh, you know uh, question banks like you know MC question bank. Uh, I'm at X question bank, but is there any official banks like that? I, I don't think so. I haven't seen for ADC. I think, you know, so far only you guys are, I think, you know, at least bringing something, I think, to the students. Otherwise, you know, I haven't seen that much actually, like resources. Only book, I think, available, I think, over as a soft copy, I think the, I think the thousand MCQ, which someone can start, but I think still need more preparation, definitely for the main one. Yes, definitely. Yes, the, the, uh, uh, I can tell you like uh, uh, some Facebook groups like they have uh, uh, free copies of the ex of the exams, the questions. Of course, not all the questions, but the problem is not answered or maybe answered, but not correct answer. And actually, this is the major problem for the high failure rate in ADC exam. Many guys having passed exams questions and they appear in the exam and they find the same question. But the problem, they don't have the correct answers. And this is the major problem. That's why you'll find all the coaches in ADC, they have the, their private notes and their private uh, 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 copy of files which have the questions with the answers. But of course, to be honest with you, it's difficult to be found free because uh, uh, it took a lot of effort to to uh, compile such huge amount of questions you are taking about exams since 2012. So um, yes, a uh, huge effort. You know, I remember I spent the, our first time to collect this material for our group. It took me almost about five months uh, to collect so uh, these collections. Yes, that's why it's, it's difficult to find a, a, a proper copy with proper answers free. Uh, but yes, it, it present with all coaches and they are selling it in our uh, uh, Facebook group. You can find all the details about these MCQs and MCQs. And even we are making sometimes mock exams. I remember, it, you know, EDC exam is easily to be predicted about what pattern. Uh, we know the pattern of the exam, but how or what parts they are going to ask, we can sometimes predict about that, uh, which is actually helpful for the students and it can be, uh, 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 yes, it can help all of them. Um, right. Okay. So we have a question for you, <laughs> I think. <laughs> so people are getting interested. Uh, so mark this I think mark distribution uh, I think doctor you can just uh, post later in the group I mean already you said in technically I mean the, the there was I think papers four papers is said in two days and if there is a distribution I think um, doctor will send me or doctor will also is in the group so you guys can also send him request or any further thing and also they have a Facebook group some of the basic thing they have also uploaded their ADC partner academy you can also uh, get into that group or search uh, and download the like those uh, available materials things are given there uh, and uh, the marks distribution i think you know uh, is, it, is it given in the australian uh, i mean in in the adc website i mean the mark distribution i think was given i guess no okay no uh, see uh, oh. it's not given on the website either for the written exam or the practical exam but all we know about the distribution like each paper has a number of marks. These marks are uh, one mark for every question. So we have 80 questions. So you have 80 marks for each paper. Okay. Then they will not give you a mark in your results. You will give just a grade A, B, C, or D. So uh, uh, we know that every question has a mark, but the success mark, or like, uh, 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 like what is the success rate? For example, if I will get 65, I will be pass or fail from 80. 
there is no like fixed rate for pass uh, rate because you know they 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 it's, it's called a percentile system you know it's a different yes, <laughs> yes. yes. it's right. different it's not fixed uh, but all we know like every question has a mark even in the practical exam you don't know uh, the distribution of the marks till you pass the exam. After you pass the exam, they will send you how they calculate the tasks and how they give you the result after that. So, no, it's, it's not uh, clear. Uh, I want to ask one thing because uh, in our MC exam, uh, there is a plot for pilot questions. So, is there uh -huh. anything in ADC exam? I mean, the pilot means there is zero mark questions, actually. Is there anything like that? I mean, even in paper one or paper two? No, 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 there's nothing like that. I want to be sure on that one. You know, someone asked a question is like, uh, is dental pharma needed? <laughs> How to answer? <laughs> yes, dental pharma is very, very important. <laughs> very, very. <laughs> I can yeah. tell you, when, you know, without yes. being there. <laughs> Even you know that when you started guidelines, they added about maybe 20 pages only for allergy of antibiotics. Just the allergies of antibiotics, you just added 20 pages you have to study. So dental pharma is very, very important. You have to need about you have to know about the antibiotics, the painkillers, the anti-inflammatories, the yes, everything about the dental pharma you need to know. And it's you know, you can find all this information in the therapeutic guidelines book, which is available if you if you live in Australia and you are registered uh, in the ADC, you can send for the Australian Dental Association and they will send you a free copy. If you live outside Australia, you have to uh, buy this therapeutic guidelines uh, from uh, 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 the Australian Dental Association, either a soft or a hard copy, or we can give you a soft copy. In our group, we have a soft copy in the file section. You can just download it. Yeah, by the way, guys, it's also available in Bangladesh. I think the, I mean, Nilkhet Bookshop. <laughs> so you can go and, you know, you know, also, you know, it's uh, soft copy test things are there and you can start studying. So as for doctor is mentioning from the summary, he actually um, given a lot of emphasis. I'm making little summary here. Uh, so the summary was, you know, doctor was giving, a, you know, I think more emphasis on solving MCQ and at the side, by side, I mean, reading the books, he's giving emphasis. He give a lot of emphasis in therapeutic, uh, that guideline thing. You know, this is books to read as, and also, you know, those need, you know, extra guidance, extra care. They can also uh, contact him. They have like, you know, DC Partner Academy, like, you know, family franchise, you can also contact them. And uh, so one question, the uh, two more questions, doctor, for, for I think operative, uh, I didn't understand that, but not being dental, mm -hmm. so I think which operation they're telling is, is OMS, I think, uh, is they try to mean, or is there any negative marking? No, uh, see, doctor, uh, operative, it's uh, this part of the industry where you make fillings, okay? <laughs> so, okay, so for operative, uh, uh, we mainly, the ADC depend on through the vent, uh, if you have time, you can read through the Vant, but I prefer also to follow Mount and Hume because Mount and Hume has all the information you need and uh, uh, in a very simple way. So yes, ADC, ADC or Australian Dental Council, they refer for the through the Vant, but uh, uh, I also like uh, Mount and Hume book because it's very easy and gives the information in a very simple way. For the endodontics, uh, we follow Walton, okay? Uh, Walton is very, very good and very easy book, a very easy book. And even the ADC also are following Walton, okay? Yeah. Uh, for, for the second question about the negative marking, no, there is no negative marking in the written exam. Uh, if you will answer one question wrong, it will not make you uh, uh, lose another mark or even if in the same scenario, you answer a question wrong, that will not affect the other questions in the same scenario. Okay, this is very important because some guys asking us, you said like we have a scenario with five questions. So if I will answer one question wrong in these five questions, that will affect the whole scenario? No, it will just affect this single question. It will not affect the whole scenario. Okay. And some doctors, uh, just for information, they're asking a book list. Don't worry, you know, we'll give you a book list. You know, <laughs> that's not a problem. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. So, uh, Anything, guys, you, you guys uh, want to ask? I mean, uh, there is a Zoom uh, link I have posted in my Facebook and also in the groups. Dr. Probably has also uploaded in their group. So if there is a further more question, like, you know, you guys can ask, definitely. And uh, many are practitioner, I know, I think. Um, uh, so you can also ask 
nice questions before we left actually because question will come and come and uh, oh one on doctor ask i think that we should clear the doubt i think the doctor ask actually mcq question is answered by true or false actually <laughs> yes uh, or multiple choice you know i think they i think the yes yes uh, you will find the question with uh, five choices so you have yes. to choose one correct answer of this okay uh, uh, just want to add you know if you go any competitive exam in the world most cases the uh, like the answers are you know the single based i mean though you have to pick up one so most cases the questions are like that you know if you go the overseas but uh, actually you know when they were in turn most cases our uh, in our bangladesh system you know three things were given true false you know that's so the thing came up actually here actually oh, okay. yes yeah all right so that's the thing doctor and uh, you know any any um, uh, thing you want to add i think if, about the one thing i want to ask you actually about uh, before uh, we go in that one would be uh, about the paper 2 because many have lot of dilemma what is paper 2 and what, is it a oski system exam or is that a what sort of exam is that so if you just share a little journey before you go, you know, we might not get you, a, you know, all the time. I, yeah. Paper two. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, paper two means, you know, the, I mean, the uh, part two exam, I mean. The, part two, yes, okay. Part two, uh, part two, sorry. Okay, so see, um, part two is, um, <laughs> is the most difficult step of the exam. Uh, it's really, <laughs> Uh, yes, have um, um, the exam also on two days. First day are technical tasks where you are operating on a dental mannequin. Uh, the, you have six tasks to operate in six hours. Uh, and um, the marking criteria is uh, uh, strange, like some uh, some tasks are complementing for each other, and uh, some parts can make you, uh, if you make a simple mistake, it can make you fail the whole exam while everything uh, rest is correct. Anyway, so uh, uh, in the part two exam, you have two days. First day will be, like I said, technical. You are doing some uh, tre uh, treatment for a mannequin, like an endodontic treatment, uh, uh, composite treatment, amalgam, uh, build up, uh, curse removal, crown preparation and temporary crown. This is for uh, the first day. The second day of the, of the part two exam, it will be OSCE based exam. Uh, you have six communication uh, stations and uh, four uh, skilled OSCE. Uh, skilled OSCE, I mean that like you can enter the, the room, you will find the mannequin and the scenario asking you to give the correct uh, anesthesia for the mannequin or uh, extract the correct tooth or apply rubber dam for a correct tooth, uh, do cardiopulmonary resuscitation and so on. So uh, it's a practical, that's a, it's a practical exam. Uh, marking criteria, like I said, it's not clear. Some guys, you know, can pass all the exam tasks but we'll just fail on one task, so we'll fail in the whole exam. And we know many had uh, this issue. Uh, but still, some guys passed, even until recently, the last exam, which was held on May 16 and 17, before uh, the closure uh, for coronavirus, and guys are passing every exam. So it's, it's difficult, but it's not impossible. Of course, if you will have... Um, if you want to succeed, or if you want to do something, you will be able to do this thing, okay? Uh, I just want to, uh, to add one thing about the initial assessment and about paper, uh, sorry, and about part one. Initial assessment has a, a, a validity, which is seven years, and part one exam has a validity of uh, uh, three years. So, um, you have to take part two and pass part two within these three years of part one, or if the validity or if the exam is expired, then you have to take part one again. And same for the initial assessment. After seven years of the initial assessment, if it is expired now, the validity is expired, you have to support some more documents about the experience certificate, what you did during these last seven years, and uh, just a good standing certificate, and of course you have to pay some fees, okay, for that. Um, 
I can answer just uh, one question I can see from the chat. Like, uh, is, it, uh, is eyelids necessary for the initial assessment? Now, no, you don't need to take eyelids, PTE, or OET exam before any of these exams. You just have to appear in the exams and do the initial assessment. After you pass part two, you can take either the IELTS academic or the OET academic or the PTE academic. Uh, so English test is not required before any of the ADC or the Australian Dental Council step. Yeah, okay. so this is important. I think it's uh, kind of similar like us as well uh, about the English test. Uh, one more thing, uh, how about the PTE? Is PTE is also applicable here? I mean, yes, yes. Since two years, they added the PTE uh, for the uh, uh, like qualified exam for English test, either for the opera or for the immigration for dentists. Okay, so these are the basic thing and which is of course there, I mean, yeah. So, so, but uh, the summary is like all these things are required. Uh, basically, when you are going to apply the job, I mean, the finally when you're going, but for ADC one and two exam, you don't need this English test. So this is, yes. uh, I think the good thing. So you can, so I think the first barrier, you know, what I found always, you know, if you have a plan, if you have a dream, I think you should just start the Okay, someone's microphone. Dr. Afsama, your microphone is sometime you know turning on, so just be careful. <laughs> and please use the <laughs> I think you know doctor will not understand. I mean, if you have any question, yes, yes. No worries, actually. Yeah, can happen sometimes. All right. Uh, any more questions from I think I know some of the close people like uh, I mean, Dibapu is here, then I think Tofik Bhai, I can see. Uh, so uh, anything, any special question, anyone wants to unmute and ask, uh, <laughs> we'll be happy to uh, answer that one. And also, also guided few things uh, about the, uh, the part two. So I think that's quite a possible. I think uh, I also tell the same since I've gone through MC1, MC2, cleared it. Initially, always it seems, I know impossible, but you know, when you get through, get through, get through, it will be just gradually things get finished, finished. Once you pass one part, I think, you know, you will see your destination and you know, yes. then, yeah. So, you know, you'll be more focused. This is one of the thing. And first thing I would say, like, you know, always, because uh, as I mentioned, I've been a mentor for 10 years and uh, the basic thing you should start the assessment, you will be automatically, I mean, recharged. The second thing you should put the money for your exam mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then you know it start having that why that you know i know i have to <laughs> go for exam now so i use this policy with my students as well that okay like you take the date okay start preparing and take a longer date actually now one more thing in amc you know we can change the exam date uh, as far as i know it it is is it possible to change adc exam date i mean say example someone's and when, when is the time for that you know, one more thing i think i was supposed to ask i know yes. it but you know i just want to share from you that you know what are the time for the adc exam and what are the centers i mean so the next hot topic is coming the time for exam and the centers actually yeah Okay, uh, see, for the time of part one exam, it's held twice a year, once in March and the other time on September. Uh, of course, because of COVID-19, last uh, March exam was uh, postponed and it will be held on uh, September 21 and 22, uh, 21st and 22nd of September this year, of course, so after almost two months and um, just a few days uh, for uh, postponing the exam or changing the dates, uh, by you, actually, it have it, it will follow certain criteria. If it is within like a uh, time frame, uh, you can have full refund. If uh, it is within like 60 days, something like that, you cannot have full refund, and so on. This is for part two, for part one, sorry, and the exam centers all over the world. You can take the exam in your country. Uh, there is in India, there is in Bangladesh, in Dubai, in Saudi Arabia, uh, in uh, Qatar, there is uh, in Turkey, uh, even in USA, there is an examination center. It's all related to person views. Uh, uh, examination centers. So yes, all over the world you can take part one. You don't need to travel to Australia for part one. But part two is a little bit different. First of all, part two exam is held every week 
twice, but of course, of course, not during the coronavirus time. I'm talking about the regular time, our old days, okay? So it was held twice a week uh, for like uh, two groups a week. The, the every group will have about 24 candidates. Uh, they can uh, appear in the exam. Uh, you can apply before the three months before the exam. And again, if you want to change the, the timing for the exam, there are like a time frame you need to follow, either six days before the exam and so on for the full refund. And you will find all the information about the refund or changing the date available on the uh, application form for the either the written or the practical exam or part one and part two exam. Uh, the venue of part two, it's uh, uh, part two, you have to travel to Australia. You have to go to the ADC building or the ADC uh, 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 yes, in Melbourne. Uh, they Same have like us, like, you know, for us, it's also only one, Melbourne. <laughs> yes, Melbourne, of course. Uh, they have uh, their own... uh, why, why is it in Melbourne? You know, for, for us, it's like that, uh, like, you know, near to Melbourne Central Station. So which one is for the... Uh, uh, yes, it's uh, in, the, in the Trobe Street, you know, in the front oh, of... Oh, yeah, same, same, same. Uh, the same, yes. I think it's the same building, the Latrobe is 300 Latrobe. I mean, I think uh, no, that particular for, building. Um, in ADC, it's 467 Latrobe. Oh, okay, okay. I think, but mm -hmm. uh, I think, yeah, but if it's Latrobe, I think it's... So I think the but the I think the nearest station would be the Melbourne Central cross station. Station. Yes, cross yeah. station, of course. Cross station, yes, you know, just came yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so uh, like I said, uh, the chances for part two, uh, it's every uh, in, in every week you, uh, there are two groups so maybe in a year you can appear three times i hope of course you can pass from the first time but some guys are not able to pass from the first time so they have the uh, availability to appear three times a year uh, if they want of course and if they have the money for that because uh, <laughs> <laughs> it yes. costs a lot of money <laughs> yeah that's true that's true yeah so uh, that's the thing actually like you know prepare well so that you don't have to put too many and at times, uh, so it's very important take proper preparation and the things. So the summary is here, guys. Like the as like even Australian Medical Council, I mean MC exam. Like there are a lot of centers throughout the world you can take and you can check. Go and check the centers. I mean availability information uh, for Bangladesh. Uh, you you can take it from nearest Kolkata. Bangladesh has Pearson, but it is only for the PT exam. They don't conduct the AMC or ADC actually, unfortunately. Uh, soon, actually, the they might be opening. The, I heard a little bit, uh, but uh, not for sure yet. I mean, um, the COVID issues and things are going on. And uh, but then very nearest uh, Kolkata, um, India is very near to us. I think so. You can just a 30 minute flight, so you can just take it from there. And for the part two, is also kind of similar. I mean, you can go to uh, Melbourne. I think you have to go to Melbourne. Uh, current information about Australia. I mean, the border and this thing. I can give you a little bit idea. Um, they have a lot of cabinet meetings are going on nowadays, I mean, and uh, what they have planned, I mean, it can be varied from exam to exam, uh, but, you know, this year, I mean, they don't want that much, uh, especially tourists and those kind of things to enter in Australia, actually, but end of the year, things might be a little changed. Uh, they might be coming up or otherwise in the beginning of the new year, uh, surely there would be like, you know, options there. And when people are coming, I think the high risk zone, what we get the information, if someone is coming mostly from the high risk zone, there's two type of option could be available. One, you might have a test uh, you have to bring with you, like, like you know, um, if you are you know less risk countries, uh, but if you are higher risk countries, you, the paper is probably not enough. You also have to come and you have to go through the quarantine process as well. So. The say example, you came from some of the country like uh, some of the European which has recovered now. So you come, you come with the paper, COVID negative, so they will allow you. Like, but it's still cabinet meeting it under process. They, it's not official. Like they will announce, I think, you know, in coming days because they are still having the meetings actually. Yeah, so that information I have from the immigration department actually. Um, I keep posting, I think you can follow the shares medical academy page also like you know if this border is open I, we will also post that one 
the one I think doctor will also do the same thing you know uh, is there is dr samis here i know <laughs> i want to ask him you know uh, where is he you know uh, maybe uh, like, he is here but uh, he is a little bit busy because preparing for the mock exams for uh, <laughs> okay, our students yes, yes. <laughs> because you know <laughs> yes, exam, yes, yes. exam like is near now so uh, yes we have uh, a lot to do this period um, i just want to answer um, one question i sure. or two questions i found in the chat first question about how much it costs uh, okay see uh, i will i will talk about the, um, the official payments first the initial assessment will cost 660 australian dollars okay so um, initial assessment, you have to pay 660 Australian dollars. For uh, uh, the um, part one exam, it's uh, um, 2,000 Australian dollars. Uh, for uh, part two exam, uh, it's 450. Okay, so initial assessment is 660, part one, 2,000, part two is 4,050, uh, 4, sorry. Yeah, I was okay. also thinking. <laughs> I wish <laughs> part two they would have <laughs> reduced a bit. <laughs> These this are the official payments because yeah. you find some like you know you have to pay another things like for example in part two you have to buy materials, you have to buy teeth to practice, you have to buy a mannequin, you have to pay for the travel and for the visa and so on. So it cannot be like uh, calculated like that. Okay, if you have the ability to do or to pay these amounts, I strongly recommend you to go with this uh, journey because it's really true. Yes, it's, it's very good. Uh, you will feel, you know, once you finish, you will feel you. Uh, Actually, you when you will finish, you will feel it's our thing because, you know, like, you know, uh, and uh, you can, I think a very famous question, you know, how much a dental surgeon, you know, earn in Australia, I think. <laughs> uh, I can I can give you an incidence. One of my friends, you know, he was uh, uh, like uh, the first time when I came and me and my wife uh, uh, met him and he was telling that uh, just for, you know, one uh, root canal, I think, I mean, sitting basically, like, you know, they were charging 1,200 and it does not cover the Medicare, I mean, you know, he has to, it has to go from his pocket actually. So I think you can understand like, you know, so all those things, uh, you know, actually you can just recollect in a month actually, that's quite a possible actually. So, <laughs> yes. so doctor, the thing doctor is telling, but if you have that ability, like, you know, maybe uh, family background and the things and uh, uh, someone maybe they'll take care in Australia too a little bit. But the, especially most important is the financial expenditure. If it's possible, do invest and then uh, do go for, because you might have a very great life ahead. You know, that's all I can say. You know? mm -hmm. so yes. This is the thing. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, one question yes. I like to answer actually on behalf of you, you know, that one is uh, because it's a visa related question. So which I also got, uh -huh. but I think it will be quite similar. I think to <laughs> after passing the uh, part one, is it difficult to get the visa for the part two? Okay. Now this is some of the basic mistake many people do because they don't have uh, that good idea about how the immigration visa. Say I have traveled so many countries in my life and Many of them are for quite big countries. I never got rejected with any of the visa. One of the thing, and as we doctors also was mentioning, common error, not mentioning your job status. I mean, some doctors just do one thing. They just uh, take the sponsor. I mean, they just show that, okay, someone is sponsoring me and this kind of thing. And they don't mention their job, known NOC or this kind of thing. Now, they will think, you know, you might go there and you might not come back, all right? So any, it's not about Australia, UK, Australia, USA, any country you go, try to show them a good NOC. Then the secondary things are coming, like, you know, how much money you have in your account, sponsor, and do understand one thing, like if you have uh, any invitation from this country, I mean, we do have many people, I mean, say example, I have friends in UK, I have friends in Australia, my sister is living in Australia, I have also friends in USA. So while you guys are going, if you just bring a little invitation, that 
you know, changes the game totally. All right. So this is one of the just tip, you know, from like expert side that, you know, what, what is the some of the very common cause there is no way like, you know, why they won't give you the visa. So this is the major reason people don't know and that the visa get rejected because your paper is not up to date. They just think, okay, I have this sponsor, father is backing me or husband is backing me or some thinking, okay, I have the money probably. So they will keep, it's not working in that way. One more thing, if you've never been to some of the good countries, I mean, if it is your first visit to Australia, there is higher chance your visa can be rejected. All right, because they will think, you know, this person hasn't been through this, any of the big countries. So that's a possibility actually. So if you have simple things like Malaysia, Singapore, or any, it's very nearby country from Bangladesh, India, Pakistan. So if you have the, those kind of any visit, it makes the visa more easier actually. Yes. All right. And uh, last, actually, we won't take that much time. Doctor might have also to teach the students. Uh, is it you know, possible to uh, you know secure the you know the PR? I mean, after because this is, could be a very vital question. Like, is it possible to secure the PR after passing the ADC? Actually, so yeah, I know the answer, but I think that that. Do you okay. Uh, see, first you have to know that. Um, like I said in the beginning, before 2014 is different than after 2014. Before 2014, once you finish the ADC exam, you can get the PR visa, which uh, has different numbers and have different criteria and so on. Now we have just two options mainly, just two options mainly to enter Australia as an overseas dentist. You can apply through a, a visa, which is called the 491. Uh, this is a, a temporary visa and after staying in Australia for uh, a period of time and working uh, as full time uh, for a number of years and have uh, uh, enough income, as I think it's more than f uh, 50,000 Australian dollars, you can get the PR after that. This is the first option. And mostly you can get the, the PR after uh, with you with this visa, maybe within, uh, we can say, I think three years, something like that. You can get the PR after three years of this type of visa. There is another type of visa, but it's a little bit expensive and it needs a, a, a job offer. Uh, it's called uh, visa number 482. Uh, this can give you PR much more faster, I think, in some cases, after yes after six months uh, of uh, entering australia with this visa but of course it has certain criteria and you can read about all uh, these criteria on the uh, uh, immigration website and also even in anzu search website you can enter on anzu search website search for the dentist and what are the visas available but yes at the end you can give you can get the pr uh, it's not uh, like uh, uh, um, a working contract or a working visa that after you finish, you will just leave. No, after you finish, if you, if you will fulfill the criteria, you will get the PR. If you didn't, you will not get the PR. Okay, so uh, uh, you can, of course, go online, search for all the criteria about all the visas available for dentists and understand more about that. But yes, at the end, you can get the PR. Yeah, uh, and uh, just you know, make it a little simplify for the doctors. Uh, do you understand how the peer system works? It's all about actually, uh, to be honest, it's about points. All right. So you always need to keep ch checking. You know how you know what number of points it is also required. But the basic criteria is to you need to finish the ADC one, ADC two, get a job. All right, and working there for a period because it also will give you point eventually. Your English test will give you point. Your age will give you point, right? And there is state, now more complicated, nutty exam, state sponsorship, so many things come. It's like, anyway, even your partner can give you points. Say if you have a capable partner who might be um, having English test clear, you'll get even five more points. If your partner is also a, uh, dental background or any of the background, they are also preparing this. So you'll get 10 points then. So there's a different thing, but normally from the partner, it's possible to secure five points, but if extremely capable partner, they might secure 10 points as well. So a lot of points out there actually, you know, it's about the marketing system. Those part is not us, it's about the lawyers actually, let it for the lawyers actually. Yeah, but this is the basic thing about that. And uh, if you ask, is it a 
top rated peer listed subject definitely yes like uh, so all you need to pass get a job and when you're in the system you start earning and getting more points after staying there state sponsor uh, working sponsor so you get more points and you can apply the peer definitely for you and also for your family one of the common uh, thing asked like you know can i apply for my family yes it's means his spouse means your wife your kids that will be involved but not the parents initially parents you can apply for the visa they can come visit you uh, that citizenship for them it's much later process i mean when you apply it might take seven eight years again yeah that's a different thing yeah all right doctor i mean <laughs> so i think you know must be tired and uh, any more question can we take um chance i think that um, job opportunity uh, current situation i think you know as we all know current situation is little different but whenever it will be opened up um, you can definitely apply every country believe me one thing um, because whenever i'm dealing with australian things uk things it's a very like you know everywhere you go in the world there are opportunity you, you just have to find it actually and you also have to be in the right time at the right place all right so these are few of the thing um, yes, country to country might vary sometime. Like this country might have little more these days. This country might have little less these days. So because it depends on the country's demand. But uh, opportunities are definitely there, right? I mean, if you if you just check, like there's a simple website. It's called um, Indeed.com. You know, if you check for some of the job market things in Australia, you can also find it actually. Or e-recruitment. So there's a lot of website you can check. You know, is there post available? If post available, definitely you can try. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. So I think it's a, a great session. And as I mentioned, like um, today's uh, thing session was, I think, sponsored by like uh, me from Shares Medical Academy and Dr. Horsty and Dr. Sami from the ADC Partner Academy. So we just like because i got so many questions on that one so i thought you know to call the real experts to you know uh, highlight because i it's not really my field so doctor thank you so much for i think um contact the station so i would uh, request like those are um uh during the station you can just search i, I think searching with this name they will find your facebook group right doctor i mean yes I yes uh, if they will just search for adc partner academy they will find uh, our facebook group they can send a request and they will accept we will accept them if uh, they want to find anything about the study plan about the the books everything is uh, like uh, available in the group in the file section they will found they will find all the, the, the most of the books because some books you know are uh, uh, like um, huge size file so they, we cannot upload on the Facebook but we can of course send to them uh, maybe via telegram or even by email not a problem totally if they want to ask about anything related to the ADC they can also uh, send to us me or dr. Mahmoud Sami uh, we are the admins yes is it uh, yes it is ADC partner Academy like uh, Dr. Shahab wrote on that chat now the same spelling exactly um, and we will of course answer all your questions um, and give you all the hints and uh, uh, important information related to the exams or even the study plans and if you want to join the course we can give you all the details about the course or even about the materials thank you very much Dr. Shahab for this amazing mm -hmm. uh, uh, session it was really amazing to, uh, <laughs> uh, to yeah answer. like just uh, I, I've been knowing uh, I think we have been knowing each other for a while I think but uh, nearly didn't introduce in that way and um, hopefully let's see you know like things um, would be useful for people in coming days and uh, let's see how it goes I think you know but uh, people I think these are this is a I think real eye-opener um so uh, like the rest of the thing i just let them know the pathway you know whom to ask the <laughs> real questions uh -huh. and uh, the video will be remained there i mean with your permission in my youtube channel so that if they get an idea yes, they yes. can sure. contact you personally actually yes so so all my best wishes and also best wishes to all the uh, dental surgeons and uh, this is me dr sherry ahmed and this is dr Ahmed Horsi, the, there's another person, Dr. Uh, Mohamed Sami, and you know, I, I think he was a little busy actually, but it's okay, like it's a very nice eye-opener session for all of us. And thank you so much, and thank you. Uh, hopefully, you know, we will be 
uh, catching you, I think, in future. I mean, um, the book list, as I mentioned, I'll try to upload. And Dr. Horstner uh, is also there. As he mentioned that, you know, everything you'll find in his group, the basic things are already given there. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Mr.